YouTube. Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And this is part three of converting the printer. Basically, I um, feel y'all having some trouble with these. And I just want y'all to take a real good look at the microchips. Okay? When you swap these out, you gotta make sure you're swapping out the yellow with the yellow. Okay, they're gonna have these rubber seals on them. And most likely they're probably gonna be in the back. So whatever the clear seals is towards the front where the chips is at, remove those, fill up your ink, do not forget to prime your ink. Then take the color rubber seal. We're going to place it in the front. Again, the color seal in the back, place it in the front. That clear rubber seal, you trash it. Okay. So now we're going to put these back inside. Like I said, keep them flush. We'll put them back inside. You want to make sure you keep them flush. to get the little snap. Close the lid. That's going to take a few minutes to initialize. So once you put the cartridges in and then finish initializing, now you can set up your Wi-Fi connection. Okay, your, your printer needs to be connected to the Wi-Fi. And also, as soon as that's done, then you're going to hop on a computer. Or you can do a direct connect with the USB cable connected to your computer. But make sure you connect your Wi-Fi. Then I'm going to show you on the computer where you can get your, your drivers and your utilities and stuff like that. That way you can start printing. Now what you're going to have to do is hop on a computer. Any web browser of choice and type in www.epson.com backslash support press enter and you're going to come up to this page right here welcome to as epson support just scroll down all the way down until you see product support industries and so forth underneath support click on printers once you click on printer, scroll down to it says search by product name. All you got to do is type in the 7840, WS7840 or the 7820. Click search. And it should be the very first one. Epson Workforce Pro 7840. Just click on that or if it's the 7820. And that goes for any Epson print, really. Anyways, I'm going to come up to this page. You should see the name of the printer, the picture, scroll down, and right here where it says recommended for you, the drivers and utilities combo package installer. Click download and you want to go through all the prompts. Make sure if you don't want spam emails to uncheck it or can't remember, but make sure you don't want no extra emails and you'll go through the wizard setup. Then once that is completed, your printer is going to print out one page. It's going to give you some kind of congratulations. Welcome to Espen and give you some information off that paper. Once that prints, your printer is good. Okay. The 
the main thing is the cartridges, everybody. Make sure you set up the Wi-Fi. The cartridges is good. The chips is facing up correctly. And the color rubber seals are towards the front of your cartridges. So, um, I'm here to help. Drop any questions. I'm around. If push come to shove, my Twitter's account underneath, um, or my YouTube channel is at. If push come to shove, hit me up on my Twitter. That way we won't have to go back and forth too much, and you'll be able to communicate a lot better. Okay? I ain't asking for a follow, but this is to help you out. I know this can be difficult for some, but you can do it. So thanks for watching. If you're new, subscribe right now. Got a whole bunch of sublimation content. Y'all stay blessed and stay true. I'm out.